So one of the YSL members, well, he's not really a YSL member. He was actually down with like OTF, it seems like. But a guy that goes by the name of Slime Life Shawty, he's another one of those guys that actually, you know what I'm talking about? He did the whole yes ma'am thing, the same thing that Gunner did. You know what I'm talking about? Agreed to the plea deal agreement, took on the um, the uh, racketeering charges, and pretty much said that he would take the stand on Young Thug. If they called him up to the stand, he would have to do it uh, just so he can pretty much get out of jail early and be able to get the, uh, you know, that, that super crucial harsh uh house arrest punishment that everybody else got that they're all probably going to end up having to go back because you can't survive just being inside the house especially when you only get money out the streets well it looks like he has now came out and explained why he decided to take that agreement and pretty much snitch on young thug uh someone actually released some dms of him and also some audio footage of him uh pretty much you know explaining hey man listen i thought about my family when i got inside that place you know what i'm talking about who gonna take care of my family while I'm in there. I can't, you know, me just a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to get right into the details and play the audio for y'all right after the intro. Check it out, man. All right. Ketal Society, go ahead and like the video so we can get the story started. Now, there's an artist that goes by the name of Mo3. And he once said, everybody ain't your friend, everybody ain't your partner. Well, it looks like Slime Life Shouty is not really down with the Slimes or YSL as a whole. Because if it comes down to it, of him having to be in jail because of some crimes that he was involved in, including racketeering, or having to go home and be with his family, he would definitely choose to, you know, somebody to tattletale or to do something to get him back home. Uh, so a DM was actually leaked, right? And a DM said, why did you snitch? And then he said, because I couldn't be behind them walls. I got family. And then uh, the next DM said, are you going to continue making music? And do you regret giving out information to get out of jail? And then there's some audio. I'm going to play that audio. Uh, and then, of course, another message says, have you spoken to Dirk since? And are you going to still be a part of YSL? Now, I'm going to play you the audio of his response to those questions right here. It made me think. That's that's the, really the biggest thing that just made me think like damn like man somehow I me mean, who the hell gonna beat up for my kid like me who won't know what I'm saying even though you still gotta live life and take the risk so that's just a risk that you don't feel like I just feel with niggas who I'm comfortable around who I feel with I be around no niggas who it could be some shit might happen or something I ain't gonna be around no feel like that anyway cause like for what you know what I'm saying if I feel like something could happen or or you be around the wrong folks who are for it. I don't know, I just don't. I, now that part, that's like flat, it made me think. Man, you know. So the crazy part about it is the fact that whenever these type of situations happen, it's like it takes people to get a RICO charge and to go actually sit down before they start to think about, hmm, maybe I should try to be there for my family. Instead of listening and doing what they should be doing before any of this actually happens, they just take all the risks, end up inside of trouble. And then it's like, here's, a, here's another thing that actually tends to happen in these type of situations, right? Somebody goes to jail. Uh, they didn't get their GED or something like that. But when they go to jail they end up like getting the GED and then it's like okay this is the big accomplishment that I did but in this in actuality it's kind of like dang if you would have just done that before you went to jail then you could have probably applied yourself in a different type of way but instead you waited to go to jail to be able to get this so you just kind of wasted more time it's like you decided not to get it here but you end up getting it anyways but you end up having to get it inside of jail so you know like i said everybody's your friend everybody on your partner like mo3 said uh here everybody is explaining why he had no choice but to go ahead and tattletale to go ahead and true tell to go ahead and you know time i give the whole truth nothing but the truth so help him guy you know time i um agreeing to take the stand agreeing to the ju the judge and obviously the government that YSL is a gang which like I say you could say that it ain't gonna affect Thug or not but it definitely will if he got members of the the organization gang saying agreeing and admitting hey this is a gang and we did commit some some violent acts and some stuff did actually happen like I say I don't think it gets no deeper than that obviously if you're gonna be in the streets if you're really gonna be in the streets and you really don't care about life and really don't care about your family and and and, and really ready to take risks or not even not care about them but you're gonna put all that lifestyle before your family I won't just say not care about them at all because most people do uh you know you got to be able to take the the the, the 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 stuff that's gonna come with that and if you're not willing to take the stuff that's gonna come with that you got to be able to rat 
that and snitch and tell, give us the information. Like it's what the majority of people in the streets actually do. It's not too many people that's in the streets that actually just keep it solid. Let's just be honest. There's not too many that it happens. Most of them tell. We can see it within. You can just see it. <laughs> I'm talking about. But anyways, how do y'all feel about what Slime Life Shawty said and doing? Uh, do y'all feel like Buddy made the right decision by, you know, uh, choosing to become a truth teller in order to uh, so he can actually come home? Or that he, you know, talking about he made his bed and he needs to just lay in it? Let me know some. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.